Hey everybody, it's JFeatherFan1312 here. Welcome you guys to another episode of Let's Play Undertale for the Pacifist Run. In the last episode, we started the game and got all the way here to the Papyrus fight. And in this episode, we're doing the Papyrus fight and beyond! Whoa. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> Sorry again. And let me tell you some complex feelings. Somehow I feel like you're an old friend even though I've never actually met you before. I can't explain this, did I meet you online? Many subtle social media connections, it's hard to keep track of them all. Just a dozen more, and I'll finally reach double digits. Just a dozen more for him to reach double digits. <laughs> Flirting, so you finally reveal your ultimate feelings. While well, I'm a skeleton with very high standards, I have zero redeeming quality. Oh no, that humility, it reminds me of myself. You're meeting all my standards. Let's date later after I capture you. That was fun. <clears throat> We're having so much fun here, Papyrus. Let's see if you can handle my fabled blue attack. Hitting it! Oh, well, I... I lost. Yeah, I just kind of lost. Yeah, I did great there. I can't believe I lost. Wow. I did notice that a lot of Sans's attacks are basically similar to these Papyrus ones. They're just a lot faster and harder. Because I saw one where Sans was really was like one of the hardest ones to fight. Which 
one of Sans' hardest attacks to dodge is a fast version of what I just saw. regular attack. Here's absolutely normal attack. Fuck. 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 Shaking in your boots, therefore I, the great papyrus, elect to grant you pity. Good. If he hadn't done that, I probably would have died, honestly.
Let's be friends. <laughs> Give people awful puzzles and then fight them. He's a big fuzzy pushover. Good job walking, Papyrus. Wow, okay. Well, let's go have our date with Papyrus. Running around. And turn and running around. My house. Being a host is a real workout. The dirty sock with a series of notes on it. Sans, pick up your sock. Okay. Don't put it back down. Move it. Okay. You moved it two inches. Move it to your room. Okay. And don't bring it back. Okay. It's still here. Didn't you just say not to bring it back to my room? Forget it. This bed is my brother's pet rock. He always forgets to feed it. As usual, I have to take responsibility. The rock is covered in sprinkles. That's the trash can. Feel free to visit it anytime. He always goes out to eat, but recently, he tried baking something. It was like a quiche, but filled with a sugary, non-egg substance. How absurd. Impressed? I increased the height of my sink. Now I can fit more bones under it. Take a look-see. What? Catch that meddling canine! Curses! Thanks, Sans. Sans, stop plaguing my life with incidental music! Interested in my food museum? Please, peruse my culinary art show. Half the fridge is filled with containers all labeled spaghetti. The other half contains nothing but an empty bag of chips. the couch. It makes a jangling sound. You find a bunch of loose coins inside the couch. You got 20G. It was my favorite game show. It says stay tuned for a new program, MTT. What? It's usually better than this. This is just a bad episode. Don't judge me. It's a joke book. Take a look. Inside the joke book was a quantum physics book. You look inside. Inside the quantum physics book was another joke book. You look inside. There's another quantum physics book. You decide to stop. Classic image. Always reminds me of what's important in life. Bones. Door is locked. Sure. Hey, those are all the attacks I used on you. Great memories, huh? Seems like it was only yesterday, even though it basically just happened. That's my bed. If I ever get to the surface, I'd like to drive down a long highway. Wind in my hair, sun on my skin. Of course, that's just a dream. So instead, I cruise while I snooze. The internet. I'm quite popular there. I'm just a dozen away from a double-digit follower count. Of course, fame is a steep price. A jealous troll has been has besieged my online persona, always sending me bad puns in a goofy font. Computer internet browser is open to a social media site. There are no skeletons inside my closet, except me, sometimes. Yes. Clothes are hung up neatly inside. That book's one of my favorites. Advanced Puzzle Construction for Critical Minds. That next book's another one of my favorites. Peekaboo with Fluffy Bunny. The ending always gets me. Yes, action figures. A great reference for theoretical battle scenarios. 
How do I have so many? Well, let's just say they're from a chubby, smiling man who loves to surprise people. Yeah, that's right. Santa! Isn't that flag neato? Undyne found it at the bay. I think it's from the human world? No, I know what you're thinking. Why would a human flag have a cool skeleton on it? Well, I have a theory. I think humans must have descended from skeletons. So, if you've seen everything, do you want to start the date? Go for it. Dating start! Dating start! Here we are! Can't spell prepared without several letters from my name. Snagged an official dating rulebook from the library. Oof. It is a Tuesday, by the way. I like the egg. Wowie! <laughs> Wait a second. Wear clothing. That bandana around your head. You're wearing clothing right now. Not only that, earlier today, you were also wearing clothing. No, could it be? You've wanted to date me from the very beginning? Clearly. No! You planned it all! You're way better at dating than I am. No, your dating power! You bested me yet. That dating went never well. Considering the general I too can wear clothing. In fact, I always wear my special clothes and my regular clothes in case of my as you date. Behold. What do you think of my secret style? No, your honesty it shows how much you really care. You don't truly understand the pen and power of this outfit, therefore, what you just said is invalid. Date won't escalate any further unless you find my secret. My hat! My hat! Well then, you found my secret. I suppose I have no choice. It's a present. It's a present just for you! Do you know what this is? Spaghetti. That's what you're thinking, isn't it? Right! But oh so wrong! Plain old pasta. This is an artisan's work. Silk and spaghetti, finely aged in oak and cats, and cooked by me, Master Chef Tyrus. Human, it's time to end this. There's no way this can go any further. Take a small bite, and your face reflexively scrunches up. The taste is incredible. What a passionate expression. You must really love my cooking. And by extension, me! Can't you eat more than I do? No! talks a lot. Okay. Got Papyrus's phone number and completed that part of the game. Now I'm gonna go back and buy some more healing items, but good god. Well, I can't even afford one more healing item. Fantastic. Stop doing that. Okay, where am I going? This way. And now we keep going. Fortunately, two jobs means twice as many legally required breaks. 
Over here, I know a shortcut. Fast shortcut, huh? Hey everyone! Hey Sans, hi Sam. Greetings Sans. Hiya Sansy! Hey Sans, weren't you just here for breakfast a few minutes ago? Nah, I've had, I haven't had breakfast in at least half an hour. You must be thinking of brunch. Here, get comfy. Whoops, watch where you sit down. Sometimes weirdos put wooden cushions on the seat. Fries. Oh, pretty good. Go below a double order of fries. So, what do you think of my brother? Hey, pal. Sarcasm isn't funny, okay? My brother's a real star. He's the person who pushed me to get this century job. Maybe it's a little strange, but sometimes it's nice to have someone call you out on the things. Even though nothing could be further from the truth. Here comes the grub. Want some ketchup? No. More for me. Anyway, cool or not, you have to greet the pirate guys real hard. Like how he keeps trying to be part of the Royal Guard. One day he went to the house of the head of the Royal Guard and begged her to let him be in it. Of course she shut the door on him because it was midnight. But the next day she woke up and saw him still waiting there. Seeing his dedication, she decided to give him warrior training. It's, uh, still a work in progress. Yeah, I wanted to ask you something. Have you ever heard of a talking flower? So you know all about it. The echo flower. They're all over the marsh. Say something to them and they'll repeat it over and over. What about it? Well, Papyrus told me something interesting the other day. Sometimes when no one else is around, a flower appears and whispers things to them. Flattery, advice, encouragement, predictions. Weird, huh? Someone must be using an echo flower to play a trick on him. Keep an eye out, okay? Thanks. Well, that was a long break. I can't believe I let you pull me away from work for that long. Oh, by the way, I'm flat broke. Can you put the bill? It's just 10,000 G. Just kidding. Grilby, put it on my tab. By the way, I was going to say something, but I forgot. Alright. Now that we've gotten that out of our system... That's not annoying at all. Now we can actually keep going in Waterfall. Oh no, I said the name of Waterfall. Oh no. Let's save again. I'm good. <coughs> you can't use items when they're in the box. It's only a box hitter. What's that? Mean? Right, this is just the area you go if you fall. That's right. But I can get a tutu here. I'm here with my daily report regarding that human I called you about earlier. Did I fight them? Yes, of course I did. I fought them valiantly. What? Did I capture them? Well, no. I tried very hard on dying, but in the end, I failed. What? You're going to take the human soul yourself? But Undyne, you don't have to destroy them. You see, you see... I'll help you in any way I can.
And now we have to deal with Monster Kid. Feeling of dread hangs over you, but you stay determined. himself out of the room. Cool. I'm gonna go back to that save point. It's like I'm used to fighting Sans, so fighting normal characters is hard for me. <laughs> Are you wearing a dusty tutu? So you are wearing a dusty tutu. Got it. Wink, wink. Have a nice day. Okay. Losha. Yeah, I figure I have to pick up at least one of the green. Got it. Got it. Fair.
didn't you see that? And then just touched me, never washing my face ever again. Man, are you lucky? Unlucky. If you're standing just a little to the left, then she would have killed me. So. Knowing the mouse might one day extract the cheese from the mystical crystal fills you with determination. Hey, Sans. Thinking about getting into the telescope business. It's normally 50,000 G to get this premium telescope, but since I know you, you can use it for free. How's about it? You can see so much? Alright, that'll pretty much be the end of this video, so I'll see you guys next time. Bye now!